as hard as you can. Um, you, you, you don't often get a second crack at things. Um, take the opportunities when they come um, and, and make the most of your opportunities. Uh, there's always going to be someone else out there trying to, trying to take your spot and, and you've got to work really hard um, and, and take the opportunities now while you can. When you get too old, the, the opportunities might have gone. So just, just to work as hard as you can when, when you get the time and, and, and the chance. My childhood heroes when I was when I was growing up was John T. Rhodes and Alan Donald, um, both huge icons in, in South African cricket. Um, I went to the, the school where John T. Rhodes's father taught cricket, um, so he played a big part in me uh, taking up the game and, and coaching me and, and bringing me along while I was sort of six to eight, nine, ten years old. Um, Alan Donald, because I wanted to be a fast bowler, and, and I, th I think he was a lot of people's heroes um, growing up, especially from South Africa. My dream dinner, dinner party, I'd invite Usain Bolt. Um, I'd like to know, I'd like to know how he operates, how he goes about uh, um, being the fastest man in the world, um, what makes him so special. Um, probably um, Nelson Mandela, being from South Africa. Um, uh, an all-time legend and, and what he's gone through and the struggles and that and where he's got the country to now. Um, for a bit of humour I'd have uh, Cole Pilkington, a massive fan, uh, such a dry sense of humour and uh, I think he'd uh, keep the party going. Um, can't think of anyone else at the top of the minute. Um, definitely Adam Gilchrist, uh, Chris Gale, um, I would have Matthew Hayden, Verinda Sewag, Brett Lee, Shane Warne, Shoab Akhtar, Sean Tate. Um, I, I, I like all the, all the guys who whack it out the park and, and, and those sort of legends of the game and, and the guys who bowl 90 plus miles an hour. Um, watching them is really, really exciting and, and watching the batters try face them. Anytime Mark Turner gets a wicket, um, love his celebrations, best celebrations in cricket. Um, so. Every ball he's bowling, I, I keep an eye out for, uh, for, for if he uh, gets a little nick through to the keeper or he, he bowls a batsman because the celebrations are a top draw. Always the good batters um, on the counter circuit. Uh, there are a lot of uh, really good professionals, guys like Marcus Truscothic, Mark Rampakash, um, and then you, you've got your really good county pros um, that, that bang out the runs every year uh, and the likes of. Uh, Martin Van Yarsveld, Rob Key, um, so they, they, they're the tough ones and then also also the, the younger guys coming through that are, have, have got no sort of fear um, and, and come out and, and, and they don't know a lot about their games, they play a lot of shots, um, sometimes they can be really hard to uh, play against. Obviously we, the, the, the side's uh, moving places at the moment, um, we, we, we're getting a good side together, a good mixture of youth and, and experience and uh, the guys coming through are, are, are doing really well when they get their chances to play um, and, and I, I really think the next couple of years we'll see some, some success on the field and we've already seen this this year um, finishing third in the CB40 and, and who knows potentially finishing third in the championship if, if, if we go well in these last few games. So. The, the, things are definitely looking up and I think um, we, we could see some success in the near future.